So once you spawn in, you turn around and there's this giant cauldron here awaiting first ingredient. We're going to talk to it and drop ingredients below into the cauldron. So we're going to head forward from here. We're going to head uh, around this way. We're going to head to the castle. And we're actually going to head behind the castle for the first ingredient, which is a zombie hand. So if we head straight this way into the castle... We're actually going to turn left here. If we head up around this way... Uh, we will have to do a little bit of parkour, but... This parkour is relatively easy, so it shouldn't be too difficult. And also, you can just head up the water as well if you don't want to do the parkour. Or if you have a mount, you can obviously just fly. And we are going to head over here, and you should see there's a soul sand beam. We're going to head straight up here, and you will see the zombie hand is right here. We're going to grab this and head back to the hub, and we're going to drop this straight into the cauldron. And you just drop it, and we found one of 13 ingredients. We're going to head back to the hub, and we're going to turn around, and we're going to head this direction now. And we need to head to the lighthouse, because at the top of the lighthouse is some glowstone juice. And so we're going to head right this way. And you can see the lighthouse is right over there, so you can swim straight on over... And we're going to head all the way up to the top. And once you are here, there's the glowstone juice. You're going to grab this. I've already grabbed it. And then you're going to head back to the hub. And then head into the cauldron. And just drop it right in. And that is your second ingredient out of 13. So we're going to head back to the hub. And now we're heading back into the castle. This time, instead of going around it, we're actually going to go straight through it. Straight through the middle. And you will be able to see there is a name tag down there. So if we head down these stairs here. And we should just be able to get there maybe around here. And down these stairs. We have found ourselves a poisonous mushroom. Now, if we keep going, you can see there is another name tag around here. So, let's just keep going for this one first. And there is the Jar of Shadows. Let's grab that. And we're going to head back to spawn now. And drop both of these in. And there is our third and fourth ingredients. Now, we're going to head back to the hub again. I think you're noticing a trend here. And from here, we're going to go back to the castle, funny enough. But we need to go all the way to the very top of the castle. Because up there is actually a witch hat. So if we head this direction, we can head up the stairs. And we're going to keep going around. Heading up. We're going to head across over to here and head up these stairs over here. And you can see right over there is the witch's hat. I think if we just... <laughs> I think I went past it, actually. Can I keep going up and drop out the window? You can jump out the window, but I will show you guys the proper way. Oh, there was just a... 
Okay, from, from the staircase, you head out the door and up there. Grab the witch's hat and you head back down over to here. And you can drop it inside the cauldron for number five. From the hub, we are going to head into the Skywars hub. And we're going to head to the left of spawn over here. You can see there's one in the house up here. Once we grab this, we are going to head underneath the island. So we are just going to head straight over to here. And we are just going to drop down. And we should see one right around here. And there it is, right over there. The axolotl skull. Poor axolotl. <laughs> and there is one more in this sky hub. And so we're going to head back to the hub. And we're going to head up here and all the way up this path. You should find yourself... And there is the bat wings. Now we're going to head all the way back to the main hub. And we're just going to drop these three little items in. From there, we're actually going to go into the bed wars hub. And we are going to turn around. And head right over here to the ship. There is one on board of this ship here. We're gonna head back to the hub so you can see there's one right up there so i think if we head around the left we can actually climb right on top and grab it and it's just down there and there is another one. Now from the spawn of here, we are going to head on over to this building here. And there is one just right inside and we found the spider silk. We're going to head back to the main hub and drop all three of these in. And we should be pretty close now. We have two left over. Now we're in back in the main hub. We're going to turn left over here and we're going to head all the way out here to the ocean. In the ocean, there is one, there's a pile of bones that we need to find. So we're just going to head straight over this direction. I keep falling in the water. <laughs> And this island here has the pile of bones. You can see the pile of bones right there. And once we grab this, we just head back to spawn. We're going to drop this in here. And that is 12 out of 13. One remaining. So, we're gonna head back over to the castle now. Because I actually missed one in the castle. I thought I had found them all now. But, there's one more over there. We're gonna head to the left side over here. And right up there in that waterfall is the last one. You see right there is the Jar of Souls. Once we grab this, we will have gotten the final one. We head back to the hub and drop the final ingredient in. 
just like that, and we get the witch, uh, the witch's apprentice costume, just like that. Pretty cool costume, and we also got a hub title. That's it for me. Goodbye. Subscribe. Like.